Hello, my name is Dr. Koheli and today we'll be talking about astigmatism. I already have a video on YouTube on understanding astigmatism. So this will be part two of understanding astigmatism. I link the first one in the captions below. So what is astigmatism? Astigmatism is a, a, a condition of the shape of the eye. I wouldn't say it's a real problem. It is just the shape of the eye is different. And is it different from myopia and hypermetropia? Yes, myopia and hypermetropia are a problem or a condition of the size of the eyeball. So a bigger eyeball is myopia, a smaller eyeball, eyeball is hypermetropia. So astigmatism is when we say 180 or 90 degrees. So astigmatism can be the eyeball shape, the front of the eyeball that is the cornea, maybe like this or it could be like this where the curve is front to back. So uh, to explain it a little bit better, we will be explaining it on my prescription. So whenever you have your eyes checked, you get a glasses prescription like this. So it has spherical. Let's move over here. Let me explain it to you here. So a typical glasses prescription will have these columns, right eye, left eye, spherical, cylinder, the axis and the vision. Okay. So now spherical is where the myopia, is it a myopia, is it a minus number or a plus number? A lot of patients will ask. Ye minus number hai ki plus number hai. So that is what they are asking about is spherical. So this is where you would be either a plus 2, a minus 3, minus 3.5, whatever. This is your spherical number. Now this is the cylinder. A cylinder number can be written in minus or in plus. Now let me tell you. Something like if I write minus 2 at 180 degrees is similar to writing plus 2 in 90 degrees. Let me explain it to you a little bit on this page. So if I hold the page like this, so you see the curve like this. Now this can be written as minus 2 in 180 degrees if you're seeing it from this side. But if you're seeing it from here as a cut section, you can also call it a plus 2 in 90 degrees. And how will you show it? on the cylinder. So this is your eyeball. So this is where the axis comes in. So whenever we say the cylinder, it's not just minus or plus. Don't just look at the minus or the plus. Look at the 180 and the 90 degrees. So 180 is more curved like this, which is very common in children. And minus in 90 degrees is very common after cataract surgery or any kind of surgery in the eye where the cut has been done on the upper part of the eye. So the, uh, the most curved part is at 90 degrees is when we write it as like this. And even if we write it as plus 2 in 90, it's still the most curved part is here. Okay, so that is the first part you must understand that in a cylinder number, don't just go by the minus and the plus, see the axis. Sometimes you will write it in a plus uh, cylinder, sometimes in a minus. Mostly in India, we write it as a minus cylinder. The next thing which we want to say is that the most common astigmatisms are at 180 and 90 as I said. This can be because the shape of the eye right from birth, uh, the eyelids are heavy, itching or allergy or rubbing will lead to a more minus in 180. Um, the other things as I said injury or any kind of trauma to the eye or any kind of surgery on the eye will change the shape of the cornea and give you a cylinder number. So say if you had an injury somewhere on the cornea over here, you might land up with a, you know, an axis like this, where the cylinder is like this, or the cylinder might be like this. So uh, the differences will be over here. So it will still be something like minus two at 20 degrees or minus two at 45 degrees or minus whatever. So these are the axes. So axis is very important 
in a cylinder number. Generally, this uh, axis does not change and the minus uh, the number also does not change very much through your life. It would maximum change up to the age of 8 to 10. Not like myopia which can go up till 18 years or so. Yes, there are conditions in which your cylinder number keeps changing. Now this is because the cornea, the front part of our eye is very thin for them and so it tends to bulge forward and this can be called keratoconus or it may bulge in a downward position or or uh, thin out on a different part that is called pellucid margin degeneration. So these are some of the conditions in which your astigmatic number or your astigmatism or your cylinder number continues to change through life and continues to uh, increase what we say. So what is the most important part of this chart? Is it the spherical number? Is it the cylinder? Is it the axis? Or is it the vision? Which is the most important part in this chart? The most important part here is your vision. It does not matter if you have a very high spherical number also. It's fine. It's just genetics. Nothing much that you could do about it. Even if it is increasing minus 6, minus 7. If your vision is 6, 6 then it's okay. You don't really need to worry. You don't need to worry about your child. If the cylinder is also big, the axis is oblique, not even in the 180 and 90. 180 and 90 are called regular astigmatism and if they are in 20, 45, then those are called oblique astigmatism. Even then, as long as the vision is good, is 6-6 six, six, or 20-20, that is the most important part. Don't worry if you have astigmatism. That is what I want to say. It can be treated with glasses, with contact lenses, with laser surgery, any of these three. Yes, we start with spectacles, but contact lenses give a better vision than spectacles because as we say that, you know, the number is like this. So in oblique astigmatism, imagine, and then they look up the glasses are unable to change with the eyeball change. Uh, when they look on the side, the astigmatism, you know, might be the glasses may not be giving them the best vision. And that is why I prefer to give them contact lenses as and when they can start wearing contact lenses. I prefer that in astigmatic numbers, especially high astigmatism and oblique astigmatism. And of course, laser surgery as and when possible. Uh, that's a totally different topic. But so this is my little second uh, video on astigmatism. Thank you for watching.